All right, guys, I just wanted to let everybody know that I'm temporarily, for a limited time, putting Pixel Modeler AI on sale for 75% off. So if you'd like to grab that, you can get it at the Blender Market, or rather Superhive, as it's now known. And I'll put a link to that in the description below. And what it does, it allows you to copy an image from any source and then paste it into Blender, effectively, as a 3D object. And then you can use the powerful suite of tools to modify the object way beyond the constraints of that AI generated depth map that we can see in the bottom left hand corner there. And it will automatically create all the image textures for you and save them to your computer. It will create and assign all the materials, generate the UVs, and if you're creating a model for 3D printing, it will even set up the vertex colors for you. Once you're happy with the basic shape of your mesh, you can then move on to interactively modifying it using the texture painting tools in combination with all of the sliders you've got available as well. And you're not limited to just using AI, you can use several different methods of input, including painting your own from scratch. And one really powerful feature of the add-on is its ability to rebuild the mesh for you so that you can get decent bevels and smoothing. And to enable that, all you do is enable the smoothing, set the number of side segments and the smoothing values. The various smoothing options can also be used to get rid of any artifacts in the geometry. On top of that, we've got the ability to control the front and the back bevel separately, and we'll never get any overlapping geometry, so never any artifacts caused by you know, having the bevel too large. And we can use the 3D bump feature to do things to text and other complicated shapes that shouldn't be legal. For example, here, I specify a couple of images that I've dragged into Blender as the source for the bump and also for the colour, and then we can use the various different options to modify the look of this 3D bump. And if you're using the add-on to create models for 3D printing, then it's very important to avoid overlapping geometry like this. With the touch of a button, we can remesh that to remove all those interior faces and overlapping geometry ready for 3D printing. And it's going to make sure that all of the UVs and all of the vertex colours are going to be kept intact as well. Now with depth-based modelling, you're always going to get the best result if the object was photographed straight on. And that can be quite limiting in terms of how many images you can choose from on the internet. So I've also included a feature that allows you to tilt the image after it's been photographed to get rid of any of those perspective problems. And one of my favourite features is the ability to enhance the features of the model. And for fast performance, while you're changing any of the sliders that affect the object shape, it's always a good idea to reduce the quality and potentially turn off the smoothing temporarily as well. And unlike the usual restriction of depth-based modeling, we can also make the objects symmetrical using a single slider. So there we are. It's a really fun add-on. It's so fun, in fact, that it probably took me an additional month of development just because I couldn't stop playing with it. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.